for the first time in two years, I'm doing some travel photography again. Today, I'm in Windsor. I'm only here for the day. I've grabbed my camera. I've got a few hours this morning, so I'm walking along the riverfront to see what I can find. 40 degree temperatures today. It's been like that for the last three days, actually. The morning started out very, very foggy, and it's overcast. I don't know whether I'm gonna get many good shots today, but I really don't care. It's just so good to be exploring somewhere new with a camera again. Now behind me, you can see Detroit City. Both Detroit and Windsor, well, their golden days are over. They've become a bit tired and decayed in recent decades, but they're both rejuvenating. And the, I must say, the river trail here that they've, they've built and landscaped in recent years is looking pretty sweet. Now, just down the trail here is the largest international suspension bridge in the world. So I'm gonna go down there and see if I can get close enough to get some nice sort of bridge architectural type shots. And um, we've got the Detroit skyline behind me. So maybe later on, maybe I'll get, a, get some sunset shots because the sun does actually set behind the city. So that could be nice if the weather cooperates. <laughs> the sun appears before the world has even stirred let's get out of here we don't need to hurry the road ahead is clear let's follow the coast as far as it goes or until Disappear. That gives me an idea. Let's get lost together. Let's go chase that postcard. Wish you were here. Well, here it is the bridge. If you're into bridges, I'm sure it's an impressive bridge. Now, the thing is, I've not photographed a bridge this big before, I don't think. Usually, I shoot little medieval ones in Europe, which is relatively easy compared to this because it's just so, well, long. What I think I'm gonna do is try and get underneath it a little bit and shoot down it, sort of underneath it, so to get a really dramatic perspective with a, with a wider angle setting on my little 1650 kit lens. So let's get lost together. Let's go chase that postcard, wish you were here with her. Let's get lost together. Cause if we don't, I know that I won't even last another year. Get lost together. Let's go chase that postcard. Wish you were here with her. Let's get lost together. Cause if we don't, I know that I won't even last another year. It's 10:30 now and the sun has come out, the clouds have gone, we've got nice deep blue skies and fluffy clouds. A lot of people do not like those conditions, but I do. You get some really nice travel shots like that. Some of you may have seen a previous video I made where I was talking about my new Nikon Z50 and a couple of kit lenses I got for it. It's the perfect camera for lightweight travel and this is the first time I've been in a travel photography situation where I want to throw it in my little Billingham bag, stick it on my shoulder and just walk around. Not conspicuous at all. A place like this supposedly can be a bit dodgy, so I don't want to draw attention to myself. So my little Billingham bag on my shoulder, and as you've probably seen, I've got my little baby mini tripod, which I absolutely love. I just love shooting low angles, and I love that tripod. 
the temperatures are really picking up so I'm gonna go and find somewhere cool to sit for a few hours and maybe I'll come out later if I get an opportunity or maybe not regardless thanks for watching Stay there.